Hi guys, this is Saurav. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own photo editor app using MIT App Inventor. First, see the example here. Mm, so here you can see that's the app here. Now I'm going to click on take picture and I'm going to uh, take picture of my laptop here. Okay, and just click on take a picture and you will see here the right sign. Just click on this and you will see that's the image we have set in our app. Okay, now I'm going to drag see how yeah that's work right and if i click on red button and you will see red if i click on green you will see green and if i click on yellow you will see yellow now i have to save this image okay so just click on this save picture button fine so here you can see that's the image in a gallery now here we go click on start your project here and that's your photo editor that's my app name okay and just click on okay and here you can see that's the first screen of our mobile phone right android app now here uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to use here one canvas so first i'm going to use here one layout and this should be click on layout and that one it should be vertical arrangement like this and make this height as fill parent and width is fill parent like this and you will see here the media option and drawing and animation so click on drawing and animation and just drag and drop canvas here like this now here i'm going to use one more thing one more layer and that one is horizontal arrangement that one is like this and i'm going to make this canvas should be height is fill parent and width is fill parent fine now i'm going to make this horizontal arrangement width is fill parent like this and here I'm going to use two buttons, drag and drop two buttons. First that one, second one. Okay. And now here I'm going to use one more, uh, drag and drop one more layout. And that one is also horizontal arrangement like here. Okay. And make this one is also fill parent like this. And here I'm going to drag and drop some buttons like one, two, three, you can you can drag and drop many buttons here now i'm going to change the button name this button is for the camera so i'm going to rename this and just type here take picture like this and for the second button save file save image like this okay or uh, save picture fine and i'm going to make horizontal arrangement should be center like this now here that's the another image uh, another buttons here you can see now i'm going to change this images uh, name it should be something like red and i'm going to change the background color of this to make it like red okay and another image is something another button is green and make this background color should be green and for another one i'm going to make this one is should be something like yellow and make this one is yellow okay and i'm going to make horizontal arrangement should be in a center and align arrangement is should be a center now i'm going to change this these button colors so i'm going to make this button color something pink and for this one i'm going to make it green or similar green okay for saving image fine okay and i'm going to change this text color here and make this one is white okay this should be a something uh, something dark so it's look it's look great okay and make this like this fine now that's the overall design of our app here now i'm going to drag and drop one more thing that one is camera click on media and you will see camera drag and drop this okay so whenever someone click on the take take, uh, take picture button so we have to take the picture and after taking the picture this picture save in this canvas and then we are going to add it in this picture okay so let's go to the code go to the block section here and whenever someone click on the take picture button it means this one it will be button one so i'm going to rename this pick btn for the okay and for the save image i'm going to make this one save btn okay and for the red button i'm going to make it 
red btn this one should be green btn and last one should be yellow btn fine now let's go to the block section and whenever someone click on the pick button okay and whenever someone click on this button so we have to call camera you will see your camera click on camera and call camera dot take picture like this okay like this fine now whenever someone take a picture so we have to save this picture in the canva in our mobile phone right so what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to use here camera click on camera where is it yeah uh, when camera one dot take picture after picture what we will do we have to save this canvas picture background you will see here option of background where is it okay canvas dot background image so which image we have to select that one like just drag and drop this image like that fine so after taking the images we have to save this image in as a canvas background okay fine now we have to add it in this picture so click on canvas and when someone dragged in this canvas okay so we are going to make this one should be i'm to call the here click on canvas again and you'll see a draw line like this fine and we need to choose preview x preview x preview y and this should be a start x and a start y like see okay so let's see uh, now now we have to save our picture also right so what we will we are going to call whenever someone click on the save button here so we have to save our picture so we have to click on canvas again and you will get your option save image like that like see call canva we have to call here evaluate eva evaluate but ignore is that like this and drag and drop this here and call this one image like this and we have to save our file name but we cannot make it like a you know permanent so we are going to change our image name so image should not be replaced in our mobile phone okay so i'm going to use here one variable so i'm going to make it in a slice and this one is image count and go to the max and drag and drop this one like this zero and you will see a text option and the join make it higher and we have to use one more string here like this so i'm going to use one more text here like this and this should be app image and for the join i'm going to use here get global image count okay it means it will take zero and after it we have to make the extension for the image like this should be dot jpg fine now we have to change this global image count value also so i'm going to use here set global image count should be after saving button we will increase the value okay so here you will see the maths and you will see here that the plus drag and drop this just copy and paste this one image count get image current count okay and we have to increase it by one like this simple now let's see how it's work okay wait wait a second we have to code for this button also right and for the red button whenever someone click on the red button fine what we will do we have to set our paint color should be red so click on canvas and you will see here the method canvas paint color where is paint color paint color set canvas paint color right just type here like red you will see here that's the red color drag and drop this and now i'm going to copy and paste three times you can use multi color multiple color here okay so red button this one is for yellow button and that one is green button for the paint color is yellow so i'm going to make it this yellow and it's a green so i'm going to make this one is green something like that fine now let's see how it's work mm, so here you can see that's the app here now i'm going to click on take picture and i'm going to uh, take picture of my laptop here okay and just click on take a picture and you will see here the right side just click on this 
and you will see that's the image we have set in our app okay now i'm going to drag something like you will see oh that's the design okay so there is one mistake we have done okay that's the actually that's the mistake so what we will do uh, we have to make this x to start y should be current x and y should be a current y okay and let's see how yeah that's worked right and if i click on red button and you will see red if i click on green you will see green and if i click on yellow you will see yellow now i have to save this image okay so just click on this save picture button fine okay sometimes it's uh, this uh, image not able to see you cannot able to see the this image in the gallery so make sure you should go to the file manager and definitely you will get this image in the file manager fine or if you're not able to find your image so make sure build this app and try this one okay maybe this will not work in the testing version okay so you will get this image thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment please subscribe my channel like this video have a nice day be safe bye bye